Welcome back to another disappointment review. Now I'm only kidding, I'm sure that'll wind plenty of people up. Uh, hopefully this week, and it was actually quite nice, so you'll see you later on in the review. We're trying Greek. So this week we're off to Greece, sort of, and obviously with the background music, but this is a new-ish, I don't know how long they've been going in terms of this particular um, brand, but the Dish brand's been going for, I think it's something like 10 years or more, started by two brothers, so it's, it is a brand, kind of like a Yum Foods, they've got brands underneath in terms of a group, um, this is just one of them, Wing Wingology, I believe is another one, so they've got their logo and everything else, and um, I thought, yeah, they're kind of like a local, but also national, so a little bit different to the KFCs, to the Burger Kings. Um, let's just see what they're like. And obviously Greek food in terms of gyro, gyros, gyro, maybe not gyro. Um, I believe that's how you say it, gyros, gyro, or gyro. Can't roll my R's, but either way, that's what it's supposed to sound like, ish. Um, so I thought, yeah, let's try this. It's kind of a kebab, but kind of the thinner sliced meat or very thinly sliced meat, um, equivalent to kind of a Turkish kebab, um, but more of a, a wrap. And I know before anybody says, and please by all means comment, you shouldn't take it out of the packaging. And yeah, 100% I agree. And I kind of regret it, but I only did it just so you could see the actual contents rather than keeping it fully wrapped as per the picture, which you'll see in the reality versus um, advertise. So let's start off with the halloumi fries, which were, I think, pretty damn good. Um, um, now, I left everything out a little bit too long before putting it actually out because I was messing about with that new serving kind of slate ple uh, piece, rather. I think it looks a lot better. I think it's easier to see things and there's less reflection. So hopefully it works better for everybody that's watching. If not, just tell me. Uh, we can always go back to the white plates or any other plate for that matter. Ideally not going to serve it straight on the kitchen sideboard, but either way. Um, so the sauces and everything else had paprika and oregano, as you can see there. Um, that was like a supercharger sort of sauce, like a sriracha, uh, sriracha, sriracha, I think that's right. Um, not too spicy, although it was, um, you know, heat behind it, but it, it was quite nice. I had in the gyro, um, house sauce it was a little bit like a marie rose kind of sauce um with a with a tiny little bit of heat um but as you can see there so combo deal for one fries paprika and oregano and you can see there the paprika in the background it was kind of like put on top of the fries rather than the fries kind of tossed in them as, as they were coming out of the fryer you know which I, I think they're kind of missing a little bit of a a better way to do it there by sticking it all on the top they should kind of should have it you know mixed in and around but Either way, the fries were nice. Again, everything a little bit cooler because of me messing about like an idiot. Um, that was kind of obviously as it was half heat. And as you can see, it kind of opened up. There's enough of everything in, which we'll come on to in a second. We won't talk about that for too too long. Um, the fries were fries. Uh, they, they were just standard fries. They weren't skin on fries. They definitely weren't Five Guys fries. Um, they were just standard fries. So yeah, they were okay. Sort of like, you know, average fries, give or take, maybe a little bit above average with the paprika and oregano kind of topping. Um, the sauce was nice. I think there's like three or four of the sauces if you have a look on their website or oh, delivery. But the gyro, gyros, gyro, however you say it, um, hopefully I'm not a million miles off, was really good. The meat being very thinly sliced, um, I'd say kind of like a doner kebab, but um, thinly sliced lamb, chicken I had, and um, lettuce, tomato, what else was there, onion, um, Greek herbs, and uh, oregano, paprika and parsley to finish. So as you can see there, the advertised versus reality, it was it was pretty close. I mean, yeah, I mean the pizza was was really nice, really soft, um, kind of a bit more sort of like a wrap, and if anything, maybe could have done with maybe a little less fries and a little bit more meat. But as you can see there, still quite a lot of meat on it, and albeit the sauce kind of dripping out the bottom. And yes, obviously if I had got it wrapped, that wouldn't have gone anywhere. But either way, just to see what you were getting, it, it was very close to a doner kebab, so it's the Greek equivalent. As you can see there, a nice picture in the background. So I can't really fault it. I'd, I've never had it before. Um, another thing just to try, going through reviews, it's always good, obviously, to try different things. And yeah, it, it was, it was, you know, I can't, it's not a disappointment, let's put it that way. It wasn't a disappointment review as the others have been. And if anything, these bigger brands, KFC, can kind of learn a thing or two, I'm sure, from these 
uh, sort of more conscientious uh, local, albeit national, but local, um, you know, restaurants. And as you can see there, the meat was cooked really well. It wasn't fatty or anything like that. It was it was good quality, um, you know, what would have been chicken breast, but obviously on a rotisserie or, or what's the point of spit. So as you'll see in a second, the ratings, which I think were fair, nine out of 10, definitely 7.5, maybe seven for the fries and 8.5 because the halloumi was really good. Thanks for all the subscriptions. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hopefully be on to the next one next week.